Hey there. So we are back. I have finished my build. I didn't officially finish the race, so this is an unofficial build, but I wanted to still share it with y'all. So let me show you what I did finish getting. This is just what I had on me when I ended that last episode. I went ahead and put that together. Oh, never did get the clay. Um, and so I didn't get the hardened clay or the stained clay because uh, I didn't think to grab cactuses when we were running. Remember, I think the desert's out that way. And I didn't even think to grab the cactus while I was out there. And I was like, well, I'm not grabbing it now. And I was short a few, I think I got three redstone blocks and three iron blocks. I didn't get the obsidian, which was right over there, technically. There's that lava pool, but just didn't think of it and I was running out of time so but let us okay good we still got time let us head out to the build so I went and found the cache which is out that way and let's see actually I marked the pathway with uh, with can with the candles with torches so that I could uh, find it again and I don't know if anybody's ever played on the uh, the obstacle course here but boy Jade you really did a good job this this looks great and I haven't quite figured out what this is supposed to be since you can't get up on it I don't know at least I don't think you can oh, oh I bet it's supposed to be where you get down on your stomach and climb underneath it that's probably what it is okay so there's my trail that we are gonna take to find the build here's the trail I made to find the cache which is straight back that way and then over a little bit to the left well let's go this way So we're gonna take our water route again I marked some uh, left some torches on little islands that were peeking up and shorelines so we'd be able to find it again and and you know I kinda did a little exploring on this seed as I was running over here and there are some really cool caverns and ravines and even a um, oops wait did I just get off my torches I might have I think they're back up here though um, ravines and caverns and even a mine shaft that just went forever as they tend to do um, okay am I getting off path again that was a torch oh well I know it goes up this way though I know what I'm doing I promise I think I know say this will be embarrassing I did not use coordinates even after um, afterwards I figured since I didn't officially win the race or finish the race I should not be allowed to use the coordinates so hence all the torches and so I didn't even look to see what they were where I built my um, my build at okay here's where we put all right here's where we put our boat down there's a first torch let me eat a potato <laughs> I'm hoping we get there right around oh no cannot cannot boat in a compass doesn't quite work that way and I hope I hope I don't break this this is the only boat I made so there's a torch okay there's a torch yeah so I made my build it's not exactly what I had in my head I had to change it a little bit but uh, I'll explain that when I get over there. Okay, so essentially it's follow the shoreline. Okay, shoreline's going out. Ah, no squid, no squid. <laughs> no. Let me get farther out, maybe. Yeah, so we follow the shoreline. Once we pass the volcano falls, the little waterfall of lava, then we will be about halfway there all right so what's going on here come on render distance do your magic let's 
let's see, let's go this way. I think we're getting a little far from shore. Yeah, I think I see the, the lava waterfall starting to form right there. Yes, okay, so that's the halfway mark. Let's keep going, keep going. There's our big forest. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, there's a torch. Let's go this way. <coughs> okay, what is that? Yep, there's a torch. Okay. Getting closer. Wow, world trunk load. Oh, I never did hear if anybody knows. Do you fall into those if you run in, you know, run into one while it's loading up? <coughs> you, I would think if it's loading up a mountain or something, you'd probably get suffocated. Okay, so yeah, we passed this area up. I remember those sugar cane, those reeds. Yep, there's two torches. Oh, that's right. I put two torches here because this is actually the spot where I was standing on top of the trees and we built our boat if you go back that way um, actually if you go in to this inlet you'll see the the little marker I put on top of that tree can you see it well I probably can't see it too well in the daytime but if it were nighttime we'd be able to see it okay let's go this way because we still have to go around this inlet yep there's a torch And let's see, there's another one. I think this is the one that we start turning in, which is good because it's almost nighttime. This is going to work out perfectly. Hopefully, I lit it up enough that we won't have any visitors when we get there. So, just in case, let's pull out our sword. Okay, I think we go around. Yeah, we have to go this way. One more. I think it's one more little uh, ah, squid. Go away. There we go. Yeah, I think this is the one where we go ahead and we start turning in in a in a second. Let's see. Woo oh, well, I guess I just answered my question about the uh, chunk load. We just went across one and it just filled in right underneath us, so... Let's see, okay, here we go. Getting there, getting there. Yeah, once we start making that turn in again, in again, I thought my boat was going to break. We should. Yeah, there we go. It's right around this right here. See, I put double torches, so that means something of significance is coming. So, where is it? Oh. Okay, maybe I was wrong? So I had, could have sworn that meant there was something of significance. But apparently it just means we're almost there and we still have to go a little bit farther. I still can't believe we ran across it that one time. We were just running around trying to find it and all of a sudden there it was okay yeah this looks more familiar this looks more famil familiar yes yes no hmm well gosh this is embarrassing I've lost my build sure surely not surely not Okay, wait, what's... Okay, no. I think that was if I wanted to go across land, which I do not. Okay, so it's not over here. That means it has to be around the corner. Good grief. What was I thinking, building so far away? I know Ed said you could build anywhere you wanted to. Ah, here we go. Okay, wait a minute. Is that... Yes, okay. Now we are here. For for real. For realsies, we're here. 
Because remember, there's where I signed off that one time. Okay. Ah, there it is. There it is. And you might be going, what the heck is that? And you'd be, uh... <laughs> So let me explain it to you. Let me get into my dock area. Hold on. No, no, no. Dock, right? No, dock. Over here. This is my little dock area. See if I can get in here. Yeah, right in here. A little bit more. It's only one block deep, so maybe that's why it doesn't want to... Uh, okay, shift. Ah, here we are. Home sweet home. So, my thought, this is lost in thought. That's what this is. So, J uh, Lexi and I were talking about, you know, if you're lost in thought or just want to get away from the world, and your, our original idea was a tree house, and then I thought, well, how about a tree house inside of a brain? I was going to try to make the brain out of glass, but I couldn't quite get it to look the way I wanted. So then I thought, well, we'll just put it in a thought bubble. So that's what this is. See the little dot, 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 and then the bubble, like a, kind of like a speech bubble, but it's a thought bubble. So let's go up into the thought bubble. And you'll see it's got a little uh, decorative top there. There's my polished uh, diorite or whatever it was. One of my redstone blocks, iron block, trap door, one of the pistons that I made. I got three pistons out of my three slimes. There's the other two. And then I've got the some of the wood in here and some of it's out there making my dock area. There's oak wood and acacia and I think I've got acacia sitting upright over there. Uh, all the wool is down underneath, making the border right there. And there's some granite. So I only used the stuff that I had actually found. I didn't use any of the other uh, other parts. So, but so yeah. So this is where I would come and be in my thoughts, lost in my thoughts which happens quite often in my life. <laughs> Get lost in my thoughts. Oh yeah, I used my uh, blue stained glass on the outside there, my glass panes. That's a little decorative thing around my thoughts. And so yeah, so there is my lost in thought build. And it also did not quite turn out the way I wanted to. It looks like a spaceship. I wanted it to be more round and it turned out more football shaped. So I'll have to work on that. But I hope you enjoy it. I enjoyed making it. And um, so I, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the race, which I'm fixing to go start up my first episode on base race. I'm looking forward to it. I'm already got my Halloween outfit on. I'm ready for any scare that Ed can muster. And we'll see if I've still got my socks on by the end. So I'll see y'all later. Bye. <laughs>